wordpress nerds so in this video we are going to talk about wp cron so first of all what is cron so cron is a process which runs automatically after certain amount of time so similarly wordpress uh, cron is how wordpress handles scheduling time based task so one of the example of wp cron is checking the updates of wordpress plugin and themes so that runs on the cron and uh, by default wordpress provide hourly twice daily daily and weekly cron so as in this video hourly and all this uh, cron schedule is uh, too much so we will be creating our own time interval which runs every minute so before jumping into the code let me show you uh, this is my local site this is my custom plugin and uh, I'm gonna add the custom code inside this plugin and uh, yeah I have added WP cron troll plugin as well so that we can check our schedules i mean our crone as well so let's jump into the code so in order to add crone let me open my plugins main file so this is my plugins main file and here I have a code snippet which I have created so I will provide this link into the description section so let's start so first of all we will be adding our own schedule time which will be 60 seconds so use this filter so I'm gonna add this so we are we are adding every minute scheduler for our new uh, crone schedule and uh, so by default hourly twice daily weekly available now we are adding one more every minute once we add this So our scheduler is ready now uh, schedule a clone job so always schedule a clone job on activation hook this is from the WordPress itself so we have to do that so after creating interval let's schedule a clone job on registration activation hook so here we are using WP schedule event first argument will be the current time second argument will be the interval so our interval slug is this every minute so we are using this every minute and here we have to pass the action so um, whatever name you want to have you can add that action over here make sure you add this condition over here uh, if next schedule is not set then only schedule event and this is the custom action we need to add so whatever we action add we have to use that in the next function so let me show you that so as you can see uh, we have to do add action every minute so this action we define over here so whatever we want to run every minute we have to use the use this action so we have added this action and created this cron job um, sorry callback so whatever we write in this function 
will run every minute so as of now i have added error log so that we can check the entry into the error log and also we are updating the uh, option in the option table so that's that so in order to check the error log i have to enable the wp debug so wp debug is already true debug log is also true so we will be checking that log into the debug dot log file so this is this is uh, these three things we need to make sure in order to create cron now we have to do one more thing so whenever we deactivate the plugin we have to clear the custom cron created by any particular plugin so we are adding this function on deactivation hook and we are running this function wp clear schedule hook and that hook will be whatever we write over here now let's try to check the schedules over here if it is available or not also let's check the events our scheduler name is custom every minute let's see if it is available or not so yes it is started uh, available in the schedules now let's see our our every minute is running or not so here we are not able to see that callback function so we should be able to see this function otherwise the crone is not running so one thing we need to take care of when we create any crone job custom crone job in any plugin for example we added our crone job in this plugin so make sure you reactivate the plugin after adding the code so that is uh, needed and it is uh, it is the rule set by wordpress and uh, as you remember that we are creating crone on the activation hook <coughs> so let's activate the plugin so now the plugin is activated and now let's try to refresh this crone events and now it is 31 previously it was 30 and our custom every minute event is started displaying over here that means our crone is now running so yeah custom every minute event custom every minute event now we will be uh, monitoring the debug.log so I'm going to be on my WordPress and I will monitor this debug.log and let's wait for some time so it will run every minute so as you can see we are error logging this current date and time so this is the current date and time so utc time now let's wait for another minute and it will run automatically So um, 
let's say you have a process on your plugin in which you want to run some functionality on each certain time of period so in that case you can use your cron jobs So it will run after one minute. So it will automatically log another time. You can fast forward this video. So as you can see, it run. So yeah, it will not run at the exact one minute, but it will try to run. It might take, it might have some delay on on the site. But uh, yeah, this is how the WP Cron works. And uh, yeah, that is it. Um, this is the this is simple things you need to do in order to create wp cron job and one thing you need to take care of that this cron job runs only when the when the site is running in the browser uh, it is not the server side uh, cron job in the next video i will show you how to create uh, server side cron job so that even if your site is not uh, access through the browser still your uh, job will run after certain amount of time so yeah this is the video guys if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video